in this video we will discuss about the manufacturing systems and first of all we will have a brief introduction about the manufacturing systems these manufacturing systems they are also known as the production systems and we can divide these production systems into two different categories known as the facilities of the production systems and the manufacturing support systems so the production system facilities use manufacturing processes to manufacture the parts or the products already we have discussed in our last video that if the production system facility is used to manufacture the individual parts then the system will involve the processing operations and if the production system facility is going to manufacture the products and because the product is combination of several components then definitely the operations involved into the manufacturing of products by the production system facility they are the assembly operation so the production system facilities physically touch the part to complete it whereas the manufacturing support systems they do not physically touch the part their role is simply to provide the support required to the manufacturing of these parts or the products starting from the raw material and up to the completion of these parts or the products so the production system facilities they consist of the following sections the factory is the part of the production system facilities the production machines toolings and the cutting tools material handling equipment inspection equipments computers and the workers all these are the parts of the production system facilities in addition to these parts we have another part known as the production system layout layout means the way the way the machines the workstations are arranged physically into the factory so it's known as the layout so in the case of production system it is first of all we we have the factory the factory where the processing or the assembly operations are carried out on to the starting raw materials on to various components on to various parts then in production system facilities we will have the production machines the workstations these machines are used to perform the processing operations or the assembly operations these machines can be manually operated they can be semi automated they can be fully automated and the examples of these machines includes the lathe machines the milling machines the drilling machines the shapers slaughters grinders injection molding machines extrusion molding machines blow molding machines the thermoformers the welding equipments the spray painting of equipments so each and every production machine is included into the production system facility then 
the two links, the jigs, the fixtures, the work holding devices. They are also the part of uh, facilities. Also the cutting tools used to perform machining operations, used to cut materials. Then in the production system facilities, we also have the material handling equipment. These material handling equipments are used to transport material, the parts, the products, from one location to the other location. These material handling systems are also involved in loading of work parts into the machines, the positioning of work parts into the machines, the unloading of work parts, from the machines, and in the case of uh, the systems involved multiple workstations, the transportation of the work units from one machine to the other is also accomplished with the help of material handling equipment. Then also, we have the inspection equipment. And these uh, inspection equipment, they have various types. Some of the equipments are manually operated, some are semi-automated, some are fully aut automated. And their purpose is to check the quality of the parts, the products, the components at various locations within the factory. Also included into the production system facilities, we have the computers, and the role of the computers is to coordinate within multiple machines, to coordinate with the machines and workers, to make coordinations between the production system facilities and the manufacturing support systems. The computers are used to communicate instructions to the workers about the processing or assembly operations. Which type of processing or assembly operation is to be performed onto the part or the product? These computers are used to download the part programs in the case of semi-automated and fully automated machines known as the CNC machines. These computers are used to control the material handling equipment. They are used to make the production schedules. These computers are used to diagnose the fault into the machines. They are used to monitor the safety of the equipment and the human workers. They are used to check to control the quality of the parts, the products. So the computers perform a lot of operations into the production systems. So these computers, they are the part of the production system facilities. And then the most essential part of the production system facilities, they are the human resources, the workers. In almost all production systems, Much of the processing or assembly operations are performed by the workers. In manually operated machines, almost all of the work is performed by the workers. Whereas in the semi-operated machines, some of the operations, they are performed under the computer program and rest of the operations, for example, the loading and the unloading of the work parts, they are accomplished with the help of workers. And even in the case of the uh, fully automated machines, the systems, the workers are required 
to periodically load raw materials to unload the finished parts to change tools for repair maintenance to perform the service operations extra and the second category of the production systems include the manufacturing support systems and the manufacturing system they have four parts the business functions product design manufacturing planning and the manufacturing control the business functions they are the principal means of communicating with customers so the business functions are basically the start and end of the information processing cycles between the customers and the company and in this function we have the sales and marketing department basically any type of uh, order to produce uh, any type of part or product originated from the customers and moves into the company into the production systems through category of the manufacturing support system and through its business function and through its sales department then in this function we have the sales forecasting to estimate if the part or the products manufactured by the company they are their proprietary parts or the products means those parts or the products they are not manufactured on the demand of the customer company is the owner of those parts or the products then the company make the forecast about the future sale of those parts or the products so those uh, uh, functions they are performed by the sales forecasting department of the business function then included in the business functions we have the order entry we have the cost accounting and we have the customer billing now the 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 order from the customer can be in the form of uh, three types either to make a part or the product according to the design of the customer if the customer places an order to the company for the manufacturing of a part or the product and the design is provided by the customer then the product design department of the manufacturing support system will not involve into the design of the part of the product <laughs> but if a customer want to manufacture parts or the products and the customer only provide the specifications then the design department of the manufacturing support system the design department of the company can be involved into the design of the part or the product and if the uh, if the parts of the products they are manufactured on to the design or the specifications of the customer then those are known as the customized parts and if uh, the company itself tries to capture the company uh, tries to capture the market with respect to uh, certain parts or the products then the owner of those parts or the products is the company and those parts are the products they are known as the proprietary parts are the products and if the part are the product to be manufactured is the proprietary then the design department of the company is responsible to make the specifications and the design of that part or the product 
So in previous two cases, in one and two, where the products are manufactured on the uh, design of the customer or the specifications of the customer, they are known as the external orders. Whereas in the case of proprietary part of the products, the order is known as the internal order. So in the case of manufacturing support systems, we are going to discuss the, the product design department of the company. And in this product design department of the company, we include the research and development department. We include the design department, we include the drafting department, we include the prototype shop. So here we have discussed if the part of the product is the based onto the customer design. So the customer is, is, is responsible to provide the design of the part or the product to be manufactured. Design department of the company will not be involved at any level. If the product is to be manufactured according to the customer's specification, then the customer will only provide the specifications about the part or the product, and the design department of the company can be hired to design the part or the product as per the specifications provided by the customers. And then the parts or the products which the company make itself as company products, they are known as the proprietary parts or the products. So design department of the company is responsible to provide the design of the part or the product. So these are the sub departments of the design department. Then in the manufacturing support systems, we have the manufacturing planning. And in manufacturing planning, we have the Process planning, we have the master scheduling, we have the requirements planning, we have the capacity planning. Basically, uh, the information and the documentation, the information and the documentation about the parts or the products to be manufactured moves from the product design department to the manufacturing planning department. And in the case of process planning, the manufacturing department of the company is responsible to determine the sequence of processing or assembly operations required to produce the part or the product. For example, a part may need to be processed first on lathe machine, then on milling machine, then on drilling machine to complete its processing. So the sequence of processing are the assembly operations to make the parts or the products is into the category, is into the capacity of the process planning. A car may visit welding station, paint station, then assembly station for its completion. Then the master scheduling. The master scheduling department prepare data about the number of parts are the products to be manufactured. How many types? And how much quantity of these types to be manufactured? And when they are to be delivered to the customers, their due date, their deadline. So the master production scheduling involves the types of the parts are the products to be manufactured, their quantities, and the deadline. 
the delivery date to the customers. For example, if a company with name ABC Moldings, they have to make the plastic chairs, tables, and buckets. Then it means the company have to make three types of products. The plastic chairs, the plastic tables, and the plastic buckets. What is the deadline that you did for the delivery of these products to the customers? For example, in the last week of the March. And what is the quantity of these the different types of products? For example, the type 1 plastic chairs, their quantity is 1,000. The second type plastic tables, they have to be made in 300 quantity and 2,000 buckets. So these are the types of the products to be manufactured by the company, then their quantity, and then the delivery date. All these, they are in the category of master scheduling. And then we have the material requirement planning. Based on the types of the parts are the products to be manufactured. Based on the quantities of the parts are the products to be manufactured. The master requirement planning department will decide how much raw material is required for the manufacturing of these parts. Is this raw material is available into our stores? is available in our raw material inventory or the company have to put, put, put orders for the purchase of these raw materials from the suppliers. For example, the shop floor demand from factory stores 20 kilogram plastic raw material for the Chairs, 50 kilogram plastic raw material for the tables and 150 kilogram for buckets. And if the stores, they have 200 kilogram plastic raw material for chairs, they have 250 kilogram raw material for tables, but they do not have 150 kilogram plastic raw material for, for buckets, then definitely the company will have to make one order to purchase 150 kilogram plastic raw material from the supplier. Also, factory may need to order the buckets, steel handles from the suppliers. If the company is dealing only with the plastic materials, then any part, any component that will be the part of this product, the table, the chair, the bucket, that that will be purchased from the suppliers, the, the vendors. So this, uh, the handle of the plastic bucket will be purchased from the suppliers, from the vendors. Then in the case of manufacturing export systems, in manufacturing planning, we have the fourth category known as the capacity planning. And this capacity planning deals with planning. How many production machines? How many toolings? How many cutting tools? How many workers? How many material handling systems are required for the manufacturing of different types of parts or products with their required quantities? 
this whole planning is known as the capacity planning. And the capacity planning will also determine whether the company has capacity to fulfill the demand of the customers or not. If the customer places an order for the manufacturing of 10,000 shares and the capacity of the company is just to manufacture 3,000 shares per month, then definitely the customer order is beyond the capacity of the company. Then in the case of manufacturing support systems, we have another category known as the manufacturing control. And manufacturing control also have three different functions known as the shop floor control, the inventory control, and the quality control. The shop floor control deals with the monitoring of the progress of the product, the parts, the products as they are being processed, assembled, moved, and inspected throughout the factory. So basically, the purpose of the shop floor control is the monitoring of the progress of the parts or the products. Shop floor control also belongs to some extent with the inventory control. Because all of us uh, know the parts of the products which are being uh, under processing or assembly at various stations between input and output of the systems, they are known as the work in process inventory. So, all parts are the products which are in between these two extreme conditions, the input and the output, they are known as the work in process inventory. And this work in process inventory is being monitored. We are basically monitoring the progress of the work in process inventory into the shop floor control. And then, Another function is the inventory control. The purpose of the inventory control function is to make a proper balance between the danger of too little inventory or the carrying cost of too much inventory. If the level of in inventory is too low, then definitely we are at the dangers to meet the demands of the customers. And if the stores they carry too much inventory, definitely we have to pay extra. In terms of uh, uh, the carrying cost, in terms of uh, uh, keeping the record of the inventory, in terms of uh, uh, the persons which are involved in uh, moving the inventory, in terms of uh, either the heating system, the lighting systems, the cooling systems, to keep the inventory at their uh, best quality, Either in terms of uh, uh, the paying interest onto the money which is involved in purchasing this inventory. Either we have the risk of uh, the obsolescence of uh, this inventory. So, the purpose of inventory control is to make an attempt. We have to make a trade-off between two extreme levels, the too little inventory and too much inventory. So this inventory control department decides the right quantity of the materials to be purchased to order and went to order when a given quantity, when the required stock is too low. And the last department in the case of manufacturing control systems is the 
quality control. The mission of the quality control, the objective of the quality control department is to make sure that the quality of the components, the parts, the products manufactured meets the standards set by the product designers. We are making the parts, the products, the components according to the specifications provided by the customers. And to keep the quality of the parts or the products at its best, the company have to perform various activities known as the inspection activities. The inspection of the parts are the products during their manufacturing. In inspection of the raw materials and the component parts purchased from the, the suppliers from outside sources. And then the inspection, the testing of the completed part, the products, for example, the final inspection and testing of the motorbike, the hydraulic pumps. So all these activities, they are in the category of inspection activities and inspection activities are carried out to control the quality of the parts or the products. And normally, to control the quality of the parts or the products, the quality inspectors perform the inspection task. And the inspections includes the visual inspection, the inspections with the help of manual devices, for example, the micrometers, the vernier calipers, and the inspection activities with the help of uh, uh, computer numerically controlled machines, known as the uh, coordinate measuring machines or the uh, universal profile projectors. So this one is the visual inspection. The inspection of the parts are the products to maintain their quality with the help of naked eye. Just by observing the parts, the products, the components, then the use of manual devices like the micrometers, the vernier calipers, and then with the help of uh, the CNC machines. <clears throat> 